Hey guys, this is Megan with Thousand Generation Farms. I actually am heading in from the field, our bean field. Um, we started bean harvest 2021 yesterday. So um, if you wanna tag along and see how it's going, won't you come farming with us? So, um, Joseph started cutting beans yesterday, um, and basically, like, when you are a small farmer and you work another job, you have to either take time off of work to, um, harvest and plant and stuff, or you try your hardest to get it done, um, like, in the evenings. Um, or on the weekends and that's all weather per permitting right so um, usually Joseph takes a little bit of time off of work but um, he usually tries to get it done on the evenings and weekends and it works pretty good that way and um, it is a little different this year because we have our newborn but um, still pretty exciting and it's going good so far so um, yeah I'll just show you some different clips and um, <coughs> Just kind of an update on how things are going. Hey guys, so, um, um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Joseph is actually going to finish up our soybean harvest and then we will start on corn. So I'm going to just give you a little flash of that. Um, he's getting the combine out right now. Um, <laughs> can you see Silas right here? Pretty sure he's going to the bathroom. <laughs> sorry about it. Um, anyways, baby and I are going to go chore, so we will show you a little bit of that too. Otherwise, um, soybeans are just about done. So kind of bittersweet, but excited that um, we get the opportunity to do it. Hi, Mama Kitty. Hi, Mama Kitty. My Mama Kitty's had two sets of babies now in the past year, and she's just thriving. There he goes. So, um, it's actually probably, like, Joseph hasn't done it in complete days, obviously, because we've had some, um, rain and stuff, but with today, it'll probably be, like, three or four whole days he's been, um, combining beans. So, it doesn't take, like, super long with the amount of ground we have, but, um, still... A decent amount of time and look all the animals are here because they know I'm gonna feed them So now we're gonna walk out quick to the bean field and see if we can even see Joseph. I mean, he's on these things we call long rows. And so it's like he actually goes like to the back of the west part of the field. So you can't really see him that great, but we'll try and just go see, see a little bit of him finishing up. Um, he just took our second to load last our second to last load to the elevator. Um, if you guys don't know what an elevator is, it's a grain elevator. Um, it's at like one of, it's at like 
co-ops, if you've ever heard of that, like a cooperative, um, a farmer's co-op. That's kind of what we call them here. Um, and there's different, there's different types of co-ops like that. They're not all for farmer's co-ops. But um, we basically take our grain there. Um, we basically, <laughs> we basically take our grain there and then, um, so they're called like around here, the ones we use are farmer's co-ops and we basically take our grain there and they disperse it where it's supposed to go. But then like, they'll check the moisture on it. Um, they'll check the, check the, like they give us how many bushels we have in our truck all that stuff and then they pay us out for it um so that is um so joseph took our second to last load today and then he's he had the the combine basically full so he emptied that into the street truck and then he's hoping that the rest of the beans he has that hopefully he gets done tonight god willing he'll put those into the straight truck and then he'll have that last load to take in um probably not tonight because the elevator closes like around six um but tomorrow definitely if it doesn't rain i want to show you guys something quick so the goats are out here and if you guys know anything about goats or you just see my videos they love to climb right so look at this can you see them <laughs> I'll try and zoom in. So on top to the left here is our La Mancha. Her name is Mama Mama. And she's actually like one of the coolest goats. I'm gonna maybe do some future videos on her. The one coming up here on the left by the old combine is Bullet. Um, pretty tame. She's a new mama. Her sister is Puppy Dog here with the brown neck um, and the white spotted ears. And then Bullet's baby is on top of Heavy Dog there, and then we have a Billy here, and then a, another Billy over here, which is, is also La Mancha. If you guys don't know what La Mancha goats are, um, they are milk goats, and they have really small ears. They're like stubby ears, but they're really cute. Actually, they're not that cute, but they're cute once you get to know them. Hi, Mama Mama. What are you doing up there, sweet girl? Look at her. She's like peeking at me. She's like, I know my name. Mm. Are you on top of the car? Hi, sweet girl. Open Hops is following us. Hi, Mama Mama. Hi, Hopper Bopper. Hops needs some fly spray. And there's Hops Cavi, Barley. Hi, Barley girl. Anyways, I just had to show you guys that because it's kind of fun. So as I'm walking out here, um, I just want to let you guys know, I've kind of like touched on this before, but thank you to all who has subscribed to our channel. Basically subscribing, you have to have a, an account on YouTube to do that, but that basically um, allows you to not necessarily get notified when we put videos up, but kind of like you can sign up for notifications, but um, it just helps you to, it helps you to follow us easier with when we do have videos and what we are up to um you can also follow us like like our facebook page thousand generation farms um we have an instagram account as well at that handle um and basically like if you subscribe or like or follow or whatever that just like shows those social media platforms that you guys like our content and you like what we're doing and so it's it's important to us that you do that if you like watching and so if you wouldn't mind doing that, even like if you show one of our videos to your friends, like have them do it. It just basically like for YouTube, it shows YouTube that um, you guys like seeing what we are doing. And that's important to us because um, we want to get the word out about farming and about small farms and big farms and how important it is for our country and just for the world and, and um, what it does for us and that it is real. So, um, yeah, if you guys, you know, if you feel led to do that, great. That would be awesome. So we are out here to the field. You can't really see Joseph that great, but, um, I'll just give you a shot of him anyway. So there's a straight truck. Let's see here. Okay. You can kind of see him there. Picture's not the best, but you can see his desk. Looks like he might be coming back this way. Oh. Um, sorry. <laughs> There's a bug. There's a bug on us, wasn't there? 
Anyway, so these long rows go east and west, and you can see he only has a few left, but what I've realized is they take a lot longer than you think, just because they're long. So, but we've done, let me zoom out. We've done all these beans while Joseph has. Um, so, pretty exciting. Look at this, guys. This is evidence that corn, that harvesting corn has started. Joseph's in the combine right there. He just did this one pass along the edge just to make sure that it was dry enough, and it was. And so um, he's going. Got the corn head on. are here to kind of watch baby and I am going to run the tractor and grain cart for Joseph and he's actually gonna set up the auger right now so um, I'll show you a little bit of that but um, it's about like seven o'clock so he got the combine full and Hence why I'm out here, he's ready for someone to drive the grain cart. So, here he comes. So Joseph's getting the auger here. We're gonna hook it up to the bin. Right 
Can't believe Harvest 2021 is almost done. All right, we probably have like three rows left and Joseph's gonna take it, take it over. We are going in. Well guys, thanks for joining us on Thousand Generation Farm for our corn harvest this year. Um, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share with your friends and like our videos. And um, we'll see you next time on Thousand Generation Farms.